Hi everyone, Stephen here from Work and Fig. Want to do a quick overview video on the new version six of Work and Fig, which we released at the start of May 22. Just going to through, run through some of the user experience enhancements, some of the system enhancements, and touch quickly on versioning and documentation. So getting right into it, we're here at the login screen. We'll get logged in, and you can see the whole experience has changed. Brand new user interface very modern, very clean interface, um, very clean dashboard. You know, we've got all of our configuration status, environment status, system information right here on the dashboard. One of the fantastic new things that we're, we're really excited about is dark mode. So our config now supports dark mode. I don't know if, if you guys are like me, I prefer a dark mode, you know, when the applications I'm using it makes it easier for me to work. One of the, the other great features we've integrated into our config v6 is uh, the feedback button, right? So from any screen, anywhere in the application, click the feedback button and give us, you know, some feedback, hopefully happy feedback on your experience. And, you know, but if, if something's not working for you, right, let us know. Uh, we, we want to improve our, our whole product strategies based on your feedback. This is not for support, by the way. This is just for feedback on on your use and your experience of v6 you'll see in the documentation which we're now continually updating we're currently at 6.2 uh, at the fourth week of may the last week of may we're going to release 6.3 next week and um, we have support now for let me just scroll down here centos and rocky linux red hat 7 and 8 and ubuntu 1804 and above okay so that's that should be useful for for those that um, use any of those distributions. Uh, one of the questions we got in, in version five was when was the RESTful API uh, feature going to be out of beta? It's now out of beta, right? So um, if you go into settings here and into REST API access, create your token, and we've full, fully documented, fully supported API endpoints for integrating your uh, other network tooling with, uh, with our config. We also have a brand new compliance feature. So if you were using compliance in V5, uh, it's completely rewritten from the ground up. Uh, we'll do videos on all of these features in the coming weeks, right? Um, but uh, brand new policy definitions based on JSON code, uh, assignments and compliance capability. So we're really excited about uh, this and, and what it can do for you. Um, there's greater uh, device support also. If I just go to github.com slash rconfig, repositories, templates, and you'll see there's more templates available than previously. Calyx is a new one. Adva, Alitelesis is new. And, you know, per v5, we can also import these into um, directly into the GUI as well, so you don't need to copy and paste, right? Just do this here real quick. Allied Telesis, and then you can pick your template. Okay, and that will change the, the template here real quick, so you can save that. Um, two more very quick things to touch on. Uh, as noted, we're on version 6.2 already. Uh, our new versioning system, um, we're releasing uh, versions roughly every one to two weeks, right? So you'll see this uh, count up really quick. Um, we're updating documentation as fast as the versioning system. You can see we even skipped 6.1 here because, uh, you know, we, we had some uh, major features in 6.2, lesser features in 6.1. And um, so just keep an eye on that, okay? And, and ideally keep your systems up to date. Um, and that's it, I think. Uh, documentation, as I said, uh, right up to date. Upgrade guides here from V5 to V6. Information on a new code editor. But, you know, we'll do videos on all of these. Thanks very much for joining. I hope you, uh, you're excited about V6 as we are. And we're looking forward to your feedback so we can further enhance it.